Let's talk about something that every nursing student mixes up at least once when we shock and when we absolutely do not. Here's the simplest way to remember this. You shock rhythms that are electrical chaos and you don't shock rhythms that are electrical silence. Ventricular fibrillation or V-fib, this is pure chaos. The ventricles are quivering, there's zero coordinated contractions and the heart is generating tiny disorganized impulses that go nowhere. There's no pulse, no forward flow, just electrical noise. And because the problem is electrical chaos, the treatment is to wipe it out. That's literally what defibrillation does. It delivers a controlled electrical reset so the SA node can take over again. This is why V-fib is a shockable rhythm. Put the pads on, charge, shock, and then resume compressions. Now let's compare that to asystole. Asystole is not chaotic. It's not disorganized. It's really nothing. <laughs> there is no electrical activity for the defibrillator to reset. You can't just shock a heart back into a rhythm if it has no rhythm to begin with. Asystole is a flat line because the heart's electrical system has stopped firing. And since there's nothing to reset, shocking does absolutely nothing in this situation. That's why asystole is non-shockable. So what do we do instead? High quality CPR, epinephrine every three to five minutes, and we correct the reversible causes. So here's the mental shortcut that saves students every exam and every code scenario. V-fib and pulseless VTAC are shockable. Asystole and pulseless electrical activity is non-shockable. You shock the chaos, treat the silence. If you want a super clear printable study guide on shockable versus non-shockable rhythms, comment shock down below on my Instagram video and I will send that right to you.